Hi, superstars. It is time for math. We are on lesson 14-4. Describe objects by measurable attributes. All right, let's look at this problem. These are two tools for measuring. What can you measure with the cup? So what do you think you can measure with the cup? Well, we can measure how much something can hold. Like for instance, how much water a cup can hold, how much soup a bowl can hold. And with the next thing right here, with our cube train, we can measure the length of something, how long something is. So let's draw an object that we can measure with each tool. So with the cup, I'm going to draw a bowl here. So we can measure how much the bowl can have in it, how much of soup, how much liquid it can carry inside of itself. With our cube train, I'm going to draw, this would be a crayon. Let's say that's a crayon. So I can measure how long that crayon is. So we can measure how much the bowl can hold or how long the crayon is. Let's watch our video. There are many ways to describe the same object. You can describe objects using different attributes. Attributes are things like shape and color. What words can you use to describe this water bottle? Some words to describe this water bottle are tall, long, full, heavy, clear, and round. Which attributes do these words describe? Long describes length, and heavy describes weight. Clear describes color, and round describes shape. What tools do you see here? You see a cube train, a balance scale, and a measuring cup. What can these tools help you find out? The tools can help you find out how long, how tall, or how heavy something is. Tools can also tell you how much an object holds. Which tool would be best for finding out the height of the water bottle? The cube train would be best for finding out the height of the water bottle. Which tool should you use to find out how heavy the water bottle is? You should use the balance scale to find out how heavy the water bottle is. Which weighs more, the water bottle or the apple? How do you know? The water bottle weighs more. The side with the water bottle is lower. Which looks like it can hold more, the water bottle or the measuring cup? The water bottle looks like it can hold more. The measuring cup is a tool you can use to find out how much the water bottle can hold. Now you know how to describe an object by its attributes. All right, let's look at number one in our guided practice. Look at the object on the left. That would be this pencil. Identify the attributes that can be measured and then draw a circle around the tools that could be used to tell about those attributes. So we have the cube train. So what can the cube train measure? It can measure the length of the pencil, 
So we're going to circle it because we can use the cube train to measure the pencil. How about the scale? Can we use a scale to measure an attribute of the pencil? Yes, the scale will tell us if the pencil is light or heavy. So we can circle it. How about that measuring cup? Can we use that cup to measure any attribute of the pencil? No, we can't because we can't fill the pencil with something. So we're not going to circle that cup because the pencil doesn't hold any liquids or it doesn't hold anything to measure. Let's look at problem number two. Look at the object on the left and identify the attributes that can be measured and then draw a circle around the tools that could be used to tell about those attributes. So we have a pail. Which of those tools can be used to measure some attributes of the pail? So the first tool we have is our cube train. So what can we measure with our cube train? We can measure the length of the pail. So we'll circle it. That can measure one of the attributes. Our next tool is a scale. A scale can be used to measure the weight of the pail. So we can see if it's light or heavy. And the cup can be used to measure how much the pail can hold. So we're gonna circle all three of those tools. All right, let's look at number three. So we have, it looks like a glue stick. Which tools can we use to measure attributes of that glue stick? The cube train can measure what? It can measure the length. It can tell us if it's long or short. And how about the scale? Can we use that to measure an attribute of that glue stick? Yes, because it can tell us if it's heavy or if it's light. And how about the cup? No, we cannot use the cup because we can't put anything inside of that glue stick. So we're not going to circle the cup. All right. Number four, this is a jar. It looks like a jar of paint. Which tools can measure attributes of that jar of paint? The cube train, can we use that? Yeah, we can use it to measure the length to see how long or how short it is. How about the scale? Yes, it can tell us how heavy or light it is. And how about the cup? Yes, because it's going to tell us how much it can carry in that jar. How much can it hold? So all three of those tools can be used. All right, let's look at number five. That's a ruler. Which tools do you think can measure the attributes of a ruler? Can we use a cube train? Yes, it's going to tell us if that ruler is short or long. It's going to tell us the length. And how about the scale? Yes, it can tell us if it's heavy or light. Can we use the cup to measure any attribute of that ruler? No, because a ruler is not holding anything inside of it. So we are just going to circle those two. Okay. We are at our independent practice page. You are going to look at the object on the left. You're going to identify the attributes that can be measured and then draw a circle around the tools that could be used to tell about those attributes. For number nine, so you're gonna do that for six, seven, and eight. For number nine, you're going to identify the attribute that can be measured using the tool on the left. And then you're gonna draw two objects that could be measured using that tool. 
All right, superstars, keep up the good work. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.